Hello, welcome to Print Edition. Chinua Achebe, the elder statesman of African literature, died last week at the age of 82. As a writer, he always maintained that his mission was to set the record straight, to point out the ills of colonialism. And he managed to do this with great passion over a long, illustrious and often controversial career. Achebe's first novel, Things Fall Apart, was published in 1958. And when I read it in college some 10 years ago, I remember being moved, enraged, saddened and left strangely empowered by it. While deploring the White West, Achebe did not hesitate to point out what was wrong with cultures and beliefs entrenched among his own people. Over the years, I tried to read as much of his work as I could, but never felt quite as gripped as I was by the early trilogy. There were instances when I did not agree with Achebe, especially with his views on Joseph Conrad, who he called a bloody racist, but I never had the slightest doubt that modern literature would have been infinitely poorer without Achebe. I am going to read out to you a bit of one of his most famous poems, Vultures. In the greyness and drizzle of one despondent dawn, unstirred by harbingers of sunbreak, a vulture perching high on broken bone of a dead tree nestled close to his mate, his smooth bashed-in head. A pebble on a stem rooted in a dump of gross feathers, inclined affectionately to hers. Yesterday they picked the eyes of a swollen corpse in a waterlogged trench and ate the things in its bowel. Full gorged, they chose their roost, keeping the hollowed remnant in easy range of cold telescopic eyes. Strange indeed, how love in other ways so particular will pick a corner in the charnel house, tidy it and coil up there, perhaps even fall asleep, her face turned to the wall. Thank you.